Hello and welcome back to Nordic Nomad. My name is Mike and today is an interesting one because we are going to be learning how to better our handwriting. We're going to go from this to that in just a couple of days. Let's be honest though, learning a new skill is kind of difficult and like figuring it out even more difficult. Especially when it's not something that you're really good at. Like I'm not good at handwriting whatsoever. So it was definitely a little bit more um, difficult to know where to start with this because like this was kind of a tall order for me, especially with someone with such like uh, chicken scratch <laughs> that um, learning like re teaching my hand the proper muscle structure and like properly writing and actually taking time into it because I've always used a computer and I've always just typed and like everything I've always written down has always been like super speedy and fast so like it's been really um kind of a challenge with this one so yeah starting off was very difficult so I did what I always do or what I'm very good at which is taking to Google to find answers and of course I think the first thing that I googled was uh proper handwriting or how to do certain um writing techniques, different fonts, and that sort of thing. And I found a few things that were interesting. The biggest of which is um, your font size makes a big difference. The type of paper you're using, as well as the pen that you have, makes a huge difference in the kind of writing that you're gonna produce. So after I spent probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 hours or so just doing some Googling from learning how to properly write a lowercase g to properly writing a lowercase a to uh, even e properly, just because I wanted to know the exact like lineage work so we could figure out where I was going wrong on that aspect. And a lot of my handwriting's problems resort from too much speed, too much grip on the pen, and it's very, um, it's too open, right? Let me show you. So after closing the holes that I had in my writing, tightening everything up, and starting to try to get everything straight and done, I felt like I had a pretty firm grasp of the requirements for a decent handwriting that was, um, very legible and, and easily read by other people. And the final step, which is borderline questionably the easiest step, but it's practice. And it's not just like practicing a lot at once or practicing, you know, once a week here and there. It's, I took a little book that I bought from the store and I took it with me everywhere. And um, I practiced with five minutes to spare, 10 minutes to spare, just trying to do everything I could possibly just to get all that extra time in to really narrow down and fine tune that signature and that handwriting, so. So after I spent a couple of days really focusing on improving my handwriting, I did learn a couple of things that we went over here already with the tightening up the loops, the tightening up the handwriting, the being more straight and everything like that. And it was really an improvement on my personal and professional aesthetic, I should say. So really something I like doing, but I only did it for, I think a week so far. And it's just, obviously there's not gonna be a massive improvement, but in my opinion, there's a pretty large improvement so far. So definitely something I wanna continue to do, something I wanna continue to improve for sure. So that being said, I wanna make more videos about self-improvement and learning skills and hobbies and just exploring the world for what it is and everything it has to offer. So with the writing one already completed, 
I want to say move on to more skills and I definitely want to check it out. So if you haven't already and you're new around here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because there's going to be plenty more content around that. You could even leave a comment down below about what skill you have right now and I'm curious to learn it myself. So don't forget to hit that like button and until next time, I'll see you next time. Stay frosty.